guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video today we are going to be going through five things that will happen or might happen when you are in a calorie deficit that are completely normal so if you experience any of these five things when you are losing weight when you are eating in a calorie deficit just know it's okay it's normal so hopefully by the end of this video you will realize that these five things are completely normal and it won't stop you from continuing your calorie deficit because sometimes people that experience these five things in their calorie deficit might think that it means that the calorie deficit is not working and they will give up and they are losing all of that progress that if they just knew that this was normal then they would continue and see the results that they want so that's why i'm making today's video if you find this video helpful informative or you enjoy the video in any way or even just right now just to help me out help out the video leave a like it really really helps out the video i really really appreciate it so if you could do that for me guys i love you forever and if you haven't already consider subscribing and join the family here on youtube i make lots of videos to do with weight loss and i share loads of videos like this as well because i have lost weight myself i used to be morbidly obese and i went on my own weight loss journey where i lost over 100 pounds i have shared everything I know about weight loss. I've shared exactly how I did it. I share my progress. I've shared my, I did a bikini competition and I shared my prep. I've done a photo shoot and I shared all that. I share my muscle building journey because not only have I lost weight, but I have changed my body composition. I've built muscle. So I share all of that on this channel. And it's basically, this channel is just a safe space, uh, a space of people with, that want to better themselves, that want to improve their health, whether that's weight loss, building muscle, just being fit and healthy, eating healthier, trying to just be better and improving ourselves spiritually as well. If you're, that's what this channel is. So if that's something you're interested in, if you want to become better for yourself in 2024, subscribe, join the family, we would love to have you. So the first thing that I want you to know that is normal when you are in a calorie deficit that you will more than likely experience in your calorie deficit is being hungry or should i say not hungry as in starving but you are going to feel you're not going to feel full like stuffed when you're losing weight when you're eating in a calorie deficit even with eating low calorie dense foods there will be times where you feel a bit hungry and you just kind of have to push push through it it's okay to feel a little bit hungry i'm not talking about starving i'm not talking about starving yourself or being in a really big calorie deficit and feeling really hungry if the case is like you're eating high volume low calorie dense food and you're starving then you need to increase your calories and, and that's combined with fast weight loss then you need to increase your calories and eat a little bit more obviously and obviously you can help it as well by eating high protein like a high protein diet will help keep you satiated making sure you eat lots of fiber will help keep you satiated and in high volume those are like little tips to help with this but even still there will be times where you will feel a little bit hungry and you just have to push for it and if anything if you're really really hungry increase your calories a little bit by eating something that's high protein or like fruits or veg just making those healthier choices that are lower calorie so it's not going to bring you massively over your calories but it is normal and it is a part of losing weight that you will feel hungry sometimes like it just is what it is and if you are experiencing that I would just say to make sure you're drinking enough, make sure you're sleeping enough. Like you, ha all of these variables do play a massive part in how hungry you are and your hunger hormones. So make sure you get enough sleep, make sure you are drinking lots and lots of water because if you are thirsty, sometimes you can mistake that for hunger. Make sure you're eating high volume, low calorie dense food and you're eating a high protein diet. If you're doing all of that and you're also not eating in the biggest calorie deficit you can, the smallest calorie deficit is the best. As long as you're doing that, if you feel a little bit of hunger, just push for it. You'll be fine. Like, trust me. The second thing that is normal that you will experience during your weight loss, during your calorie deficit, is weight fluctuations. So one day, your weight will be one, one weight, yeah? So say, I don't know, say you're 150 pounds. This is just an example of the top of my head. You're 150 pounds on one day. The next day, you could be 155. The day after that, you could be 152. The day after that, you could be 149. The day after that, you could be 160. And then the day after that, you can be 148 again. Like, it, it, that's how weird and fluctuating your weight can be. It not always is the case. Some days, like, it can, it depends on your body, how much you're eating, how much you're drinking, the sleep, all of these factors play a difference in it. Sometimes, like I've noticed with my weight, sometimes it can stay roughly the same, only going up by one or two pounds. And then other times it can go up and down by, like, quite a lot. Dep it literally does depend on 
if I've changed something, like eaten a little bit more, even if I eat loads, lots more volume of food, obviously that's going to be my system. So it's, even if it's like in a deficit, sometimes it makes me weigh more because obviously it's still in there, like it's still on my stomach. So it makes you weigh food more. If you eat more carbs, it makes you weigh more. So weight fluctuations are normal. You're not going to be losing weight like every day. Like it's not going to be dropping down every day. That is why it's so important that it's okay to do daily weight, weight like weigh-ins, as long as you understand that the, the weight fluctuations are are completely normal and it's just it doesn't mean you're gaining fat and losing fat every day it just means that you're like when you're stepping on a scale you're that's like the weight for your whole body it's not measuring just the fat content it's literally me measuring your bones your the, your skin your your muscle your fat your water in your body your organs your food in your stomach like it's literally weighing everything like the the waste in your bowels you know what i mean like it's literally uh, a number for everything that you're, you weigh. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're losing body fat or gaining body fat just because it's going up and down on the day to day. What will be the best measurement? So it's okay to weigh yourself daily because in my opinion, I feel like it helps you become more comfortable with those weight fluctuations and you can almost learn patterns of your body. So like I notice my weight is a bit up when I have had a rubbish sleep or like the day or two after training legs or when I'm really sore it's up or if I'm about to come on my period or on my period, my weight is up like I and I can almost anticipate it now and I know I can, I don't even really need to weigh myself. I know whether I'm gonna be higher or lower pretty much by just the way I feel in my body or the way I've slept, the way I've eaten, how much carbs I ate the day before, how much food I've eaten, if I've drunk, like so many different factors, I am actually very in tune of it. And I think it's quite handy to know. So I'm not saying don't weigh yourself every single day because I think it is very good for yourself as long as you're not becoming obsessive with it and, and expecting the number to drop every single day. That's where it'll be a problem. And if you find yourself like, if you find yourself getting upset and your whole day being ruined just because of the number of the scale that you see in the morning, then I would suggest not to do that every day. But I feel like weighing yourself every single day and seeing those weight fluctuations will help you, just my opinion. It's important that when you weigh yourself every single day, you're tracking the average, like the median and seeing the trend. And as long as the trend is going down, then you're losing weight. That's why it's kind of not the greatest to weigh yourself just once a week even if you are trying to keep the variables the same because that next week that you weigh yourself, you could be on a high day or a low day and you're not actually knowing properly how much weight you've actually lost, which is why it is good to weigh yourself every day and then see the trend and make sure that it is gradually going down. It's not gonna go down every day. It could be like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, but as it's going like, how do I do it? So here, we'll just do it here. So it's like, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. But if you see, it's actually lower here than it was here, and that's the trend. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and the third thing that is completely normal when you are in a calorie deficit, when you are losing weight, kind of piggybacks off the last one, but it is slightly different, which is why I wanted to include it. You will not lose weight every single week. You will have weeks where you maintain, where you stay the same, where you literally lose nothing. And it's completely normal. You might even gain weight. Don't panic. The only time you should do it, make any changes is when it's been a I would say two to three weeks of no weight change at all, then that might mean that you've hit a plateau and that's where you'll, you will need to make changes. But don't stress if you don't lose weight every single week. And if you actually be really realistic, if you're in a calorie deficit and you're losing weight, there will be times where you might eat maintenance or you might eat a little bit more and that week you just don't lose body fat and it's okay as long as you stay consistent and you keep going and you carry on with the calorie deficit you will continue to lose weight don't let those one weeks here and there like a week here and there of not losing any weight stop you from continuing and carrying on because it's the weight loss in the bigger picture like the weight loss over a long period of time that makes a difference not just one week third thing that is normal in a calorie deficit when you're losing weight is you are going to feel tired sometimes and you're gonna not have much energy. And I don't wanna say that this is like all the time, as long as you obviously are focusing on the other factors, you're eating enough, you're not in too much of a big calorie deficit and you are getting enough sleep. Other than those two factors, you might actually, yeah, you will get to a point after, I wouldn't say in the beginning, but after being in a calorie deficit for a long period of time, I noticed this as well, you do start to feel like you ain't got as much energy as you did before because you're you're literally 
in a deficit of energy. That's what calories is. Calories is just energy. So when you start to, I would say, more closer to the end of your weight loss, when you have less body fat to lose, you're in a deficit of energy, basically. So your body starts to con try to conserve energy. You're not, you don't feel like you have as much energy to train as hard. Or like, I would feel like I would get tired halfway through the day. That was pretty normal for me when I was in my weight loss, like I would say towards the last few months. By midday, I knew I needed a coffee. That's probably where my coffee habit has come from. <laughs> because like, I would have energy in the morning, I would train, as soon as I trained, I was like, oh. Like I would come home, so I train, come home and clean. And then after that, I was just like, I need a coffee. Like I would feel really tired before I had to go pick up my kids from school. So I'd have to have a coffee. But I think it just comes part and parcel of losing weight that you will feel a little bit tired and you won't have as much energy as you did when you was over consuming your energy. And it's okay. Like as long as like you're not like completely knackered and no energy and you can't like move. When you're like that, that's how I was in prep, yeah? That's probably you're in too much of a deficit and you need to eat a little bit more or maybe your body fat is like way too low and you need to gain a little bit of body fat. But other than that, like to feel a little bit tired and have a little bit less energy and not be able to lift as heavy or you might be able to lift, you should be able to lift the same as what you did before, but you might not be increasing in strength by as much as you were in maintenance because you don't have that extra energy and you're not less likely to be building muscle in a deficit. So yeah, you won't be your training. If you do train, you do weight lift, will be, won't be as good as it was when you're in maintenance. But it's okay because you will eventually increase your calories up to maintenance when you finish your fat loss. And then you will get that energy back. So it's all good. But uh, yeah, as, as long as you're not like massively too tired, I'm not talking about like no energy to move at all. I'm just saying like, you know, you might start losing your energy by halfway to the end of the day or whatever, it's normal. And the last thing, the fifth thing that is normal in a deficit is it's kind of like weight fluctuations. So like one day where you weigh more, one day you weigh less, but it's not to do with your weight, it's the way you feel about yourself. So sometimes you are going to feel like you've made so much progress. You're gonna be feeling good about your progress. You're gonna be feeling good about yourself. Like you look at your body and you're like, damn, I'm looking good. I'm feeling good, I'm smashing it. Like, and you feel positive and you're just like, yes. Like, and you're motivated. And then it could be the day, next day, a couple of days later, because you're carrying a little bit more extra water or even sometimes it could just be a whole mental thing, but you're like, I literally don't feel like I've made any progress. What am I doing? Why am I doing this every single day? I've, I look hardly any different. I, st I still got so, and that's another thing that I experienced as well sometimes was I would be happy with my progress, but then when I would realize how much longer left I've got to I lose all of the weight, like how much body fat I still have left, it would be quite daunting. It would be like, oh, I've still got all of this to go. And that can be quite off-putting and that can be like, so you have your good days and your bad days and it's completely normal. Um, the way I dealt with it was I obviously took progress pictures. So when I did have the days where I felt like I didn't have much progress, where I didn't feel great about myself, where I was like, I've still got so much further to go. Sometimes I would see pictures of other girls like fitness girls and stuff and they would look really good and it would just make me feel bad about myself for some reason because I was comparing myself to them and I felt like I was never going to get there or never look like that so I would have days where I would get really upset and just like even if I I remember like being really upset and like crying because I was like even when I do lose all of the weight I'm not gonna look like that like because I'm gonna have loose skin I'm not gonna I'm just never gonna look like that and I remember just being really upset about it. And I do think it's completely normal to experience that during your weight loss journey. And you will have hard times. You will have the good days as well, where you feel good. You look in the mirror and you're like, damn, I'm feeling myself. But you will have the bad days. And the way I dealt with them is because I took the before pictures and progress pictures, when I felt like that, I would just put the pictures together, where I started, where I am now. And I would just, like big myself up like I'd be like wow look how much progress I've done and I would that, that's where most of my progress pictures like when I'd post my progress pictures on Instagram they were mostly on the days where I felt not great about myself I would post it yeah to show other people my progress but it was mostly for me to make myself feel better about myself like look how far you've come so like kind of like big myself up to myself does that make sense like no look how far I've come you've done this and like I would always remind myself not to compare myself to other people 
and I feel like in a lot of my posts where I talk about that is because that's what I was doing at the time was doing com like comparing myself and making myself upset and it was kind of me giving myself a pep talk so I think it's really important when you do have them days to kind of come off social media if you are comparing yourself or if you are feeling rubbish about your body you know you can, you don't have to sit there and look at your body like you don't have to make like pull, pull at your body in the mirror and get upset just put on some clothes go train exercise is like your best friend i'm telling you now like gives you so much good endorphins continue to eat healthy continue to eat in a deficit continue to do what you need to do to lose weight and just try to have more of self-care days on them days and remember where you came from so make sure like you are taking progress pictures and you are kind of and even if it's not a physical progress picture or a weight like the difference in the weight Think about how much more you can do, how much like better you feel in yourself, even if it's only been a few weeks and the only difference is that you feel so much happier after you've gone out for a walk every day. Remember that, remind yourself of that. Like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't even going out for walks. I was like really upset, like I was spending my time this way and now I'm going out and actually getting fresh air and I feel good and I've actually made that into a habit. Celebrate all of the little habits and the little wins that you have so that when you do have them that bad days, that that's what will help get you through. And just remember that this, this is normal. I feel like everyone has their ups and downs regardless of whether they're losing weight or not. But when you are losing weight, that they're the kind of days that you can have and um, just push through it. Like you'll be fine. Those days will make you stronger. And as long as like you don't give up and remember this, if you don't fail, you can't, if you don't give up, you can't fail. So that's what I used to tell myself all the time. And it's not about comparing yourself to anyone else or becoming better than anyone else. It's about becoming the best version of yourself that you can possibly be and the healthiest version of yourself. Uh, it is completely normal. I've experienced it. I've experienced all of these five things. Let me know whether you've experienced any of these. And if you have any other things that you're experiencing during your weight loss that you're not sure whether it's normal or not, leave that down below as well and we will figure it out. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you left a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.